Pushing back against new laws through education tonight, a new space to diversify our community open with the effort to keep books like these in schools. It's dubbed the Freedom Library. National and local education leaders are joining the NAACP in Hillsborough County to launch it. And Tampa Bay's Angelina Salcedo was there for its first night with open doors as she explains the impact transcends age. The NAACP's first Freedom Library will be here at the Beulah Baptist Church just outside of downtown Tampa. This place of worship that has long been a monument for change in this community, now a part of a movement to make sure that the black community's history isn't erased. With every word, Fred Mom found the pom pom. They dive deeper. Charlie Colson ran for president. Into their story. If you are black, Public schooling stopped at sixth grade. Cornelius, Tristan, and Trinity vary in age, but their passion is the same. We get to make um, voices for the characters. Black people and white people are, are like equally the same. It represents my elders. That's why they say these books in Tampa's newest Freedom Library are important. They should unban it. If they don't unban it, I will walk up to their school and tell them to, be, to actually to put it back. Just like this place that's cultivating diversity, this 11 year old sixth grader is pushing back. I need to do that. I need to fight for myself, other people. Oh, I'm proud of both of them. Toby Scott is a dad to two beautiful daughters. They're here to learn more about books that have been banned in Florida schools. The fact that we need it is a problem, but the fact that we came up with a solution for the problem is a, is a great thing. This library and informed protest by Hillsborough's NAACP in this community learning for knowledge while these kids read. It feels powerful. This seven year old first grader is empowered because I see black people in my color representing their the past. Other black children can look at this book and dream big like their ancestors. That's why this place exists. You can choose not to read a certain book, but to ban a particular book, I don't, I don't think you should be able to do that. Angelina, what days will the library be open for the community? Dave, the Freedom Library is going to be open weekly from Tuesday to Friday to make sure that everyone in this community, especially the kids, have access to diverse books. In Tampa tonight, Angelina Salcido, 10 Tampa Bay.